Two things that you need to do as soon as possible if you are a veteran and thinking about buying a home in the future using your VA loan benefit. And the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and apply for your certificate of eligibility. You can reach out to a lender like myself and go ahead and start the process of making sure that you have your certificate of eligibility. That way, if there's a hiccup, if there's a problem, if you need to go d dive into the archives looking for some uh, military records, you've got plenty of time to do that without the pressure of uh, a looming home loan closing or approval hanging over your head. So go ahead and start the, that process early. Most of the time we can enter in your social security number and the year that you were born and it will spit out the certificate of eligibility quickly, immediately. In fact, that's not always the case. There are times where we have to send in the DD-214 if you served in the reserves or the guard component. And then at that point, there's additional documentation that sometimes you have to go back to your units. You have to do some digging and it may take a little bit of time to get those documents. So it's very beneficial to have those documents ahead of time and get your certificate of eligibility ahead of time before you begin the home buying process. The second thing that you may want to do is go ahead and look into applying for a VA disability rating. If this is something that you've ever considered, thought of, or think might be beneficial for you to take a look at, do that ahead of time because what this will do for you, the smallest of ratings, even 10%, will get you exempt from the VA funding fee. So uh, the VA funding fee can be as much as 3.3% of your purchase price. So $3,300 per 100,000, almost $10,000 on a $300,000 purchase. So uh, I think it's very beneficial to go ahead and start the process early. You'll get a few dollars a month, but the big savings is gonna come from being exempt from the VA funding fee. So if you're a veteran, you're thinking about buying a home in the future, go ahead and start the process to get your certificate of eligibility, have that in hand, begin the process of applying for a VA disability rating if that is something that you have considered. And both of these will help you uh, big time when the time comes for you to begin the process of purchasing your new home.